Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to make a very simple quiz using those form elements we've been looking at in the previous video. So what we're going to do really easily, I'm going to copy these in, is make two arrays with my questions and my answers. So capital UK, capital France, sorted. We're going to make a variable for our answer box. Our counter, which is going to keep track of the question we're on. Let score and let submit button. It's nice and easy. That's that sorted. So now in our setup, we need to have our canvas, which we've got. And then what we're going to do is create an input. So we'll say answer box equals create input and then answer box dot position. So we can position that in. We'll do that 20 and 65. And then we should get a nice little box there, which is done. So that's that bit's done. Now we're going to have our submit button. So submit button equals create me a button. Nice and easy. It's going to say submit answer like that. And then we need a bunch of attributes here. So we're going to have, I think we need three of those. So submit button dot size, we'll say 150. We need its position, which will be 50 and 100. And then submit button dot mouse pressed submit answer. So then we should have a nice button once it's synced. There we go. It's not liking that, but it's because I haven't got my function yet. So that's going to submit my answer. So I can just make that function now. So function submit answer like that. And we'll sort that out in a minute. Now we're going to add in some text, which is going to say our question. So I'm just going to set a nice clear on here. Put it all over the background again, but we'll say text size 20. I'm going to fill text in black. I'm going to say text with my score at 10 and 20 positions and text with questions counter. And then we'll just have it in the corner somewhere. So we'll do that and that. Well, I should do. In case something goes wrong, can't see anything particularly wrong with that. Can't see any text. It seems to be getting confused there. So on line 30, it doesn't like score, and that's because I've not set it to zero, so I can just do that really quickly. Not initializing my variables, so I say zero. And what is capital of the UK? So that's done. So now all I need to do is calculate if I'm right or wrong. And increment the scroll. So I can say if answer box dot value equals answers. Now I could use this really using a, a 2D array, so I don't have to do this, but I think for simplicity this is absolutely fine. Uh, score plus equals one. Then regardless, the counter needs to go to the next question. And then I think that's about it. I think the only thing we need to do is maybe just put a little check in there. So if my counter is less than questions.length, then we'll add to the counter just so we don't overflow off the edge. So now I should, I'll just run it twice just in case. Should be able to go London. And it should give me a point. And then press that. You see it's not work there because I should probably put this in here as well. I have it reset or something like that. I could probably do that as well. Just so it doesn't give me that error. So we'll go London again. Let's spell it right. And then Paris. And then it's not going to crash anymore, but that's why it's that's our simple quiz, nothing crazy there at all. But what we can also do is we can replace this instead of using text, we can have a, an array of images for the questions. So you can have like a picture quiz, we can use radio buttons for answers to quizzes. There's loads of different ways we can do it, but that just allows us to get scores and things. 
So, so far, you can make like an input form for settings for a game, you can log into a game, and now you can do a quiz. So that's quite a lot of skills that you can use in your projects. And that's going to do us. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this one was nice and short. Let's have a little look what, what time we're on. Five minutes. So like and subscribe, share it to your friends, and I'll see you in the next video.